Hi, I'm Brad McAlpine from CDR Yamaha. Today on MXTV, we'll be covering torque specifications, why we should torque bolts and a torque wrench, and to what specification we torque them at. The reason we torque bolts is one of two things, to stop a bolt from falling out, to stop a bolt from stripping, and another important side of thing is a crush, because a tight bolt will cause crush to the material. Here we have the, the front end and the triple clamp and front fork. This is designed as a pinch bolt, bolt only. Obviously, too tight of a bolt will cause prolonged damage to your actual triple clamp and thread, possibly even stripping the bolt. So the manufacturer's design a specification clearly to prevent this and it affects the handling if it's too tight because of the flex characteristic of the triple clamp. So what you'll find, for example, Yamaha in their specification guide, and all, all motorcycles will have this in their manual. For example, this 8mm bolt is torqued to 21 Newton metres. Well, once we've retrieved our King Chrome torque wrench from our toolbox, we then find the required specification on our torque wrench. We're using 21 Newton metres, which can be programmed into your torque wrench by the handle and then locked off with its locking bolt. Once we've locked it off and double checked our torque specification, make sure it's securely fitted to your hex head on your bolt and basically use it like a normal ratchet. Proceed downward motion until your torque wrench clicks off. That indicates that it's up to 21 Newton metres. There's always a reason behind a torque setting. Every manufacturer will have a torque setting for this particular rear axle bolt and nut designed for not only the nut to not come off, but is designed for a flex chassis mechanism also. So basically we get our torque wrench, secure it firmly onto the nut, and because I've set the specification on my adjuster here, when I pull the torque wrench up in the upward motion and I hear that click, means I've reached the desired torque setting for that particular nut. G'day, I'm Jason Childs from CDR Yamaha, and I'm gonna show you some important bolts that need to be torqued on an engine. The bolts that we're talking up are the, the cam cap bolts, which are the four bolts for the exhaust cam and the four bolts for the inlet cam. The importance for talking these bolts up are to have it so it's even on the camshaft journals to prevent damage to your cam cap, your cylinder head and your camshaft. So pretty much I've got my, my workshop manual out here, which is showing me the correct sequence to uh, tighten the cam cap bolts and I've got my torque wrench set to the correct tension, so now I'm gonna go through and torque it as per the owner's manual. The two other things that really need to be torqued on your engine are the oil filter cap and the sump plugs. It's really important to do those two items because the threads are uh, always being used, the, the bolts are in and out all the time, and over the life of the bike that you have, um, with regular oil changes, not torquing them up can cause damage to these threads. The oil filter bolts are very easy to strip if you don't use a torque wrench. The torque setting for these two bolts will be in your owner's manual.